Hi guys, today we're gonna look at a Dollar Tree haul. I did recently mention that I wanted to start a schedule so that you guys know when I'm putting out Dollar Tree videos, Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So hopefully the schedule is gonna really work out for me and for you. Let's dive in, no shenanigans today. Dollar Tree has been putting out some flip flops. I am loving seeing stuff so far in advance just because I love to plan in advance, so I love that. They're putting out their spring stuff. I've been seeing their gloves and the seeds. I even saw boxes and boxes of Easter stuff, which I'm really excited about because I wanna do more spring DIYs and Easter DIYs and Valentine's Day DIYs. So those are coming soon. My first one is just around the corner. And, but yeah, so back to the flip flops. I have loved seeing these. The patterns are so cute. I just grabbed the watermelons um, for today, but I think I'm gonna go back and get some of the other patterns because they're very adorable. I got a size seven, eight, and the children's flip-flops are adorable for both boys and girls. You're gonna see all the patterns in an upcoming What's New video, but I started off with the watermelons. I'm a flip-flop kind of girl during the summertime. I just love being able to have shoes to slip on, go get the mail, the trash, all that stuff. I hate fussing with shoes um, for like housework kind of thing. So I love flip flops for that. And obviously, you know, just to wear and beach and whatever. The next item is really cool. I don't know how long this has been around because I haven't been paying attention, but they have this dry erase magnetic planner. So this whole back strip is a magnet which you could easily put on your refrigerator, on any filing cabinet or at work. I thought that this pattern was the the best of the choices they had. Um, yeah, but I love that it's obviously not dated and then you get rows and rows for the week. And I just love this. So you can just like write little things down. There's not really much writing room, but for the whole day of Sunday, I mean, you have, you know, six entries that you can put in here. So if you wanted to go by like morning, afternoon, evening, you could definitely do that. And because I went ahead and got a dry erase planner, I had to get the stuff for the dry erase board because I don't think I have anything like that. So I went ahead and got a dry eraser. They have this at Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and also got some markers. How many did I get? Just, oh, just these two. I saw these two options. So this one with the like multicolors. Wish there was like a green in there. And then these are just like darker colors. Yeah, so black is a good one to use just in case you don't want to have like colors on your board. Um, but I got some dry erase markers. I also want to get into bullet journaling. You're gonna see that over on my vlog channel. I started playing around last night um, off camera, just trying to figure out, you know, styles and different ways to draw. And I'm not the best artist in the world and so I just kind of wanted to practice some like lettering and boxes and things like that and I realized I need pencils so I'm not a pencil girl I never have been even as a child in elementary school I preferred pen and I would want to use pen for math and you just can't do that but um so I realized I need some pencils in my life I do have pencils from Dollar Tree but then I realized I don't have sharpeners. And so I just like was like, I'll just get some of these mechanical pencils. I probably don't even like mechanical pencils either. I feel like I probably do better with like a number two, but we'll try this anyway. But that's why I bought some of these. Oh, it also says refillable. And I think I have seen them sell individual refills as well. So that's really cool. And then this seemed to be very new to me glitter markers but i only saw them in the green and gold i'm curious if there were other colors i'm i'm pretty sure there were but this is all that i found so i'm going to be on the lookout for more colors and then it tells you that you have to like shake it and then you push down i guess to get the product kind of similar to white out i also found this in the teaching tree section of dollar tree and it was kind of hiding so you guys, be sure you look through stuff. Uh, you just never know what you're gonna find. This says it's a magnetic pocket with a window. That means you can obviously attach it again to anything that has like metal or whatever that magnets attach to. Wow, I didn't expect this to be like wide at all. 
But then here's the little flap. Oh, the flap closes up here. But yeah, I, I have no idea what I kind of expected out of this. I just kind of thought that this would be something you would put like in a binder and store things, but I don't know. Yeah. So let me know how you would use this in the comment section. And the only other color I saw in this was pink, but the teaching tree has like all kinds of colors. So I wouldn't be surprised if they carried this in. Oh, it shows you actually green, pink, red, and blue. So that's what it shows right there. I also found some of these stickers. I've never seen this color before, and I think this is a steal. You get 10 sheets in here for $1. That's absolutely nuts. And I found some new lettering stickers. Hold on, because these are amazing. They're definitely the kind that you would think would be at Hobby Lobby, and they are alphabet letters. I'll show you like this first. Kind of hard to see with a, like a white backing to it, but I don't really, I guess something like this so that you can kind of see the letters a little bit better, but these are silver and they are in caps and you get two of each letter, which is amazing. And then I found the larger set, but you only get one of each letter in here, if you can kind of tell. And they have the exact thing in white. This is amazing. Sticker letters are always so expensive at the craft store and I think that getting these for a dollar is just a bang for your buck. Like this is insane and the letters are gorgeous. It's on a see-through background so there's no other additional color. I think these would be really complimentary to just about anything that you're trying to craft. And I picked up some more tissue paper. So this one definitely looked new to me. I don't know how long this one's been out. This is just kind of every day. And it reminds me a lot of this. Look at that. It's actually identical. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so I got some of this. And then I got another, another one for Valentine's Day. And I really like this one. I feel like this one may have been out last year. But there's like specks of silver in there like little glitter and I really love that. And all the different heart shapes, you can see some of them are dotted. So I really love um, all the styles that's in this one sheet. And this one you get solid pink and solid white. This was actually what I mentioned in my last haul. I think I mentioned this, uh, these gift bags, but I mentioned one with the monkey and the bananas and I decided to go ahead and get them. If they call this a frost, frosted loot bag, very cute, frosted, it is frosted. It's not so see-through, but you can kind of see through it. Happy Valentine's Day, and I think the monkeys are just adorable. Super adorable, and it's a boy monkey and a girl monkey. So how cute is that too? Love it. And more Valentine's Day stuff. I found these scented mini sticker books. And then look, you get another set in the back. So you get six sticker books and it says it's strawberry scented. Look how cute, love these. These these patterns are definitely new. I don't remember these patterns last year, but they had something like this, um, just not these patterns last year. And then I don't know why I got these sticker sheets. I recently ordered off of Shein and I ordered this really cute dinosaur tee. It's actually linked down below, by the way. Um, and so I've just really been thinking dinosaurs are cute. And so I got these little puffy dinosaur stickers. Look at this little heart. Is that heart a strawberry? Not really, but it kind of looks like it. I saw these stickers before when I was getting all of my sticker stuff from my previous videos for you guys. Um, I went, I decided to go ahead and get them. I want to really like up my Valentine's Day sticker collection. And I am going to be doing like a whole organization and a, like going through my whole craft room and showing you guys everything that I have. That's going to be over my vlog channel and that's going to be coming soon, hopefully in about a week or so. So yeah, I got to organize all of these stickers that I've been buying and then I'll show you guys my whole entire collection and then I'm going to do like a whole tour of my craft room and you'll, you guys will get to see like everything that I have in there. Okay. Um, and then for those of you who don't know, because I've actually seen comments like this before, but my vlog channel is linked at the end for you. And you can just click on it, it'll take you straight there. The next thing is this card. 
obviously not a handmade card that those are like wrapped individually and they have like layers and um, all kinds of cute things going on but their regular cards are really cute too some of them are super gems and you just have to go through it i really liked this one it was really universal it didn't say any other message on it you could easily use this for crafts and stuff and then it comes with a red envelope the very last things for this haul i know it was a quick one but i found some new lip glosses and they are in the shape of diamonds what in the world and i got every color that they had i'm pretty sure that this is all they had just the way that the tray was set up but here is white in a vanilla scent and look at the backdrop drop Look at the back drop, it has sprinkles, which is odd. Um, this one's watermelon scented. And this one is bubble gum. You would have thought that bubble gum would have been pink, but pink is strawberry. So yep, so bubble gum, strawberry, watermelon, and vanilla. So here's what it looks like. It's not smooth at all, it has like texture. I have no idea how you open this. Oh, it's a twist. Oh, and the lip gloss is in the top portion. So this is empty, there's nothing there. And the lip gloss is right in there. Bubble gum, definitely, but it smells like cheap bubble gum. So, but you do smell the bubble gum in that and it is really, really cute, if anything, as decor. And that's it for Monday's Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're into all of the crafting and the sticker stuff that I mentioned, vlog channels at the end, I'll see you guys there. And don't forget Wednesday, I'll be back for another Dollar Tree haul.